top of the wall we picture, but it's the highway. We are headed back to Florida. We spent the last four days at Reed Brigham State Park, which I have no intention of going back to again on my, just because I want to go there. I will stay there overnight. Um, if I'm traveling through and need to stop for a night, but I think I'd rather do a Walmart before I go back there. The bathrooms were dirty. The campground host did not clean them all week. And the office staff has the personality of a dead wet fish. I think I've said that before. I'm just being honest. That's just my opinion. When you see dead bugs all over the floor all week long, dirt and sand on the bathroom countertop all week long, and you see crap on the wall of the bathroom, I think all they did was take out the trash. I think it's dirty, okay? And I realize it's a campground, but the campers all left in. There was only a couple of us left and it should have been clean. I get it. There's a lot of people there, but and by the time we left, we, we were the last person for two days on our loop, so. But it's, it's you know, what can you say? Not every place is going to be perfect. But the one thing I do have a rant here. I have a rant and a ramble. And a waffle, whatever you want to call it. Um, people, when you go to these places like campgrounds, um, nature centers, historical sites, stop leaving your trash on the ground. I mean, I see, I saw forks on the ground, plastic silverware, I saw bottles, water bottles, um, cups from fast food joints in the, when we went on the boardwalk area where the natural water and trees are, and it's a beautiful thing, there was cups and stuff down in there, bottle caps from beer bottles, don't leave your trash on the ground. If your mama didn't raise you right, her mama raised her right. And if she didn't, well then, I don't know. But don't leave your trash on the ground. That's that's just wrong. You know, there are trash cans usually every place in parks. If not, take them home with you. And if you're camping in a campground, and you are in an RV, don't put your your trash from your RV in the bathroom trash can at the campground, that's just damn laziness. And it's rude to this camp host that they do their job right. Because they're trying, they're doing their job right. They're trying to keep the bathrooms nice and clean for you. I tell you, the best, cleanest bathroom I've been to yet at one of these campgrounds was Hamburg State Park. Gotta give them a complete thumbs up. I mean, they need more than five stars. That couple, Mr. Doyle and his wife, Oh, those people kept that bathroom so clean, you probably could have ate off the floor, but I wasn't going to. I'm just saying, I'm just ranting. Stop being pigs, people. Don't throw garbage on the ground. And if your dog craps in the walking area of somebody, pick it up or bury it. I understand if your dog poops in a bush. You're not going to necessarily pick it up if they go up in the bushes and poop, but if it's in the walking area, because um, there was a big dog turd in our camp area, bury it if you're not going to pick it up. At least do that. Or kick it into the bushes. Uh, that's enough of my rant and raving right now. Maybe I'll think of something else as we go down the road. Mile marker zero. We just entered Florida. Y'all, we're back in Florida. Here Florida we welcomes you, Katie. Ugh, yeah, we're back in Florida. Yes, I want to go home in a couple of days because I miss the husband and the son and uh, my grand doggy Rosie, but ugh, back in Florida. Palm trees, palm trees, there they are. They're everywhere. states have palm trees. I know California probably does. But what other states have them? They planted them all here so people see them immediately. Ugh. They're like a giant weed in my opinion. I really don't see what is so pretty about them. We're going to stop
stop at the Welcome Center in a minute, y'all. And uh, probably, I don't know what time it is. I'm looking to see what time it is. It's probably close to noon. 12.50. Yeah, so, State of Florida Welcome Center. Here we go. I'm gonna probably walk the doggies, have a sandwich, and then get back on the road so we get down to Lake Griffin State Park. Alright, later y'all. Is it acting alright now? Alright you guys, I'm back on. We are headed down the interstate hoping to get to um, Roundtree Moore or um, Ford to have them look at the, the car, the RV because I have a problem. I have a check engine light on and a wrench light on and I've talked to two Ford places and it might be a powertrain problem. So I've already said my prayers to God to please get us here safely. But we are having trouble. We're not going to make it to Lake Griffin today, I don't think. You know, the, the, um, when the wrench came back on, it kicked like it was chugging, like, like I lost power when the wrench popped back on. So I'm just hoping I gotta go 33 minutes on the interstate to this, but there's everything there. There's a Walmart, we sleep the night in the parking lot. Um, they think they can get us in. They don't. They can't promise to see it this afternoon. But we tried another one closer and they said they wouldn't even know they would see us on Friday. So no panic. Fingers crossed, pray to God that we get there okay, and I'm serious about that. And uh, just gonna be careful. This stuff happens. This stuff happens. But they can put it on a machine and say what's wrong with it. It's brand new, so you wouldn't think there'd be a problem. That doesn't mean nothing. I haven't been a speed demon. I've kept it around 60, 65, no more than 70 at the most. So I'll, t I'll let you know what happens. Until later, until then, later. Everything for a week if we had to. Okay, you guys, update. We are spending the night at the Ford dealership in Round Tree Moore, Moore Ford, dealership. Ford dealership in Lakeland, Lake View, Lake City. I think Lake City. Look, I got my paper. So we are spending the night because our throttle body went on the camper, and the part won't be here until tomorrow afternoon. Once they get the part, it'll be an hour or so fixing it. But yeah, so these are not accommodations. These are this is our living room for the next day. No, you're not in it. Lake City, Florida. Lake City, Florida. And they will be backing us in. So, I will give you another update once they get us put where they want to put us because they're parking us for the night. But we're spending the night at the dealership. I've heard other people having to do this. <laughs> it's just my turn to do it. We've been here for about what? We've been here since two, I think. We've been here since two, and it's after five. It's six seventeen. It's six seventeen. So we've been here about four or five hours. They've been super, super, super nice. They were super, super nice. I tried another one up north of us, and they were rude on the phone. But the woman, when I called this one, was nice. And when I found I had to drive thirty-three miles to get here, I kid you not, I was praying as I was driving because the car just was not going as fast as it could go. Thank goodness uh, I could go at least 60 miles an hour on the interstate. But um, I'll let you know when we when we start our evening. They're starting to close things up here. The service center's already closed up and- Got some good, um, you too. My daughter's been time. uploading videos and, making, okay. and uh, we will go to bed early at night so we can get up early. Cause they open at seven. So she's been uploading videos. Okay, you guys, we are spending the night in the parking lot of the Ford. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what we're at. So we are safe. We are safe, so that's all that matters is that we are safe. There's lots of security cameras around. I just put some garbage up because even though we are spending the night in the parking lot of Ford, we still have salmon and baked potato for dinner. The security cameras everywhere, y'all. But it, no, it's not selfie. So we're gonna watch. Um, Katie's uploading videos. I'll probably upload this video of us at the parking lot at Ford. We're trying to not pull a lot of stuff out, trying to clean up after dinner so that all we can do is get up at 6 a.m. and be ready to walk out of the camper when they come knocking for the keys. Because the part will be here again around noon. I'm thinking noon, late, early afternoon. He said afternoon, so, or maybe late. Shouldn't take long to put it on. The worst happens we spend another night here. But that's all the experience of life. We're safe. We're okay. They know we're here. We got permission to stay here. We told our hubby and my brother and my told my husband and my son and all the guys at the house that we are here. And that's all that matters is we were safe. We did not break down on the interstate. I was worried. Because 33 miles seems like a very long ways to go when your car is acting like it wants to get out. So, until next time, see you on the next video. Like, subscribe. Remember, enjoy the craziness of life. Because later you can tell you might laugh about it when you tell your friends. When we tell our friends what happened, we won't be laughing, but we'll be telling them we were thankful. So, see you on the next video. Bye.